today we're going to show you how to make two styles of copper etched pendants using permanent ink and stickers. Here are the supplies that you will need. Some styrofoam to float the copper in the acid, sandpaper, blank sticker labels, masking tape, a tub, plastic tub, baking soda, copper, um, ferric chloride etching solution, design stamps, an ink pad, these are design punches, um, some copper blanks, any type, any type of design, um, sharpies, gloves, <clears throat> and a uh, polishing cloth, and finally a tray to use to keep everything clean. Now that you have all your supplies, you want to start by cleaning your piece of copper with a piece of sandpaper. So you just want to gently rub and get all the excess oil and fingerprints and everything off of your copper piece. And once it's shined up and ready to go, you can start. So I'm going to take a stamp, a design stamp, and my ink pad. And I'm going to put my first design at the bottom. Press down, and there's my stamp. And then I'm going to also add some design stickers by punching some uh, designs out on a blank sticker label, like so. Okay. And you're gonna want to stick your little stickers. Put one here, and one here. So once you have your design created, you want to flip over to the back and you want to add some masking tape to protect the back from the acid in the solution. So you just make sure the whole back is covered and then you can um, clean around the excess, just cut it all off and then it's ready to go into the acid bath. Now that you have trimmed the excess masking tape, you can now put your piece to the styrofoam. You need some 3M sticky foam tape or a hot glue gun, and you attach it to the foam like so. Press your copper piece down onto the foam so it's secure. And then I always put a piece of tape that says what the solution is and what time we put the uh, piece into the acid bath and then you're going to put it piece facing down into the acid and you just float it right down in and so that, now it's floating in there and you're going to leave it for about one hour and come back to clean it all up. So now this has been sitting for an hour so we're going to take the piece out of the acid bath and then to clean it we're going to put a tray down into the sink that you're cleaning it up. And we want to rinse off all the excess here. We remove our piece, and there's still some sticker residue, so we can just clean that all off. And to neutralize the acid for it to go down the drain, we want to use baking soda. So put a little baking soda in here, and that takes most of the toxic with the acid away from the piece. And we just scrub. It also helps to shine up your piece as well. And then just make sure that when you're putting your acid down the drain, you want to put the baking soda before and after to neutralize it. So now we're ready to um, texturize our piece with some Sharpie and add it to our necklace. Now that your piece is all cleaned up, you're going to want to create a texture so that you can see all the designs and they pop out. So one way to do this is to take a Sharpie and you want to color around all your designs. You kind of rake around where all the really cool texture is on the piece, like so. The parts that have texture. Okay. 
And then that's when your polishing cloth comes in handy. So this is a polishing cloth and you're gonna take this to polish all of the Sharpie off. Just take it like so. Just get it, polishes it and it kind of makes it really shiny. Just keep polishing. Once it's all ready to go, you can attach it to your necklace. So this one looks about ready. So we're gonna take one jump ring and put it through the piece. And we get a pair of chain nose pliers so they're flat. And we're going to put it right on our necklace that we made. And we close the jump ring. And then that's our finished piece.